is Estathina, mighty Poseidon, the Earth Shaker, Zeus Artemis, with her deadly aim set to pierce it in the heart of a hummingbird. Pain that pains, all of them. I see you there. Come closer. All the mortals are made in the born workshop of fools. Jagged reflections from a broken mirror. Behold your god! This one killed six innocent children to satisfy her rage. They squabble, burn with jealousy, cheat, fight and murder. They are cruel, vindictive and selfish, and let the heel of Achilles, these witnesses will be there and weak. I have no such flaws. The rest have fallen. Only one stands between me and the rehabilitation of Olympus. Only the foulest, most arrogant, narrow-minded boxer son of Kronos who trapped me beneath the earth. The one and only Zeus! How I've missed you, Prometheus, my favorite cousin. You chained me to this rock and fed my liver to an eagle out of love. Ah, uh -huh. you need my help. Typhon is free. You once fought beside his allies, the Titans. Convince him to stand down. It's not that simple. He is even blocking my ability to glimpse the future. I cannot see past him. Go on. Blast me. I can't! He took my lightning! He took everything! Even the other gods are missing! Look to the mortals. That's done! Those evil, imbecilic, tasteless parasites were all turned to stone! One of those evil parasites is about to save your royal ass. My ass is safely lodged in the Aegean stables, and mortals will never be anything but a mistake. Care to make a wager? If I'm right, my sin of stealing fire and ensuring their survival becomes a blessing. You find your punishment unjust? It's a little... extreme. Do we have a deal? If you win, I'll end your punishment and set you free. But if I win, you help me stop Typhon, whatever it takes. Very well. Let the tale of Phoenix be my redemption! Oh no, not one of your stories. How long is this going to... My tale begins at sea. A ship of soldiers returning from a faraway battle. Their victory ambushed by an unexpected storm. The sea tossed and turned. Waves churned to a froth. The line between sky and sea all but vanished. The mountainous peaks of the waves descended into valleys nearly as deep as Tartarus. You're really painting a picture here. It's an art. Point is, the ship didn't stand a chance. At dawn, the sun rose on the few remaining survivors. The lowest ranked among them, a shield bearer who dreamt of battle, but had seen nary a Wait, skirmish. Wait, don't tell me. Body like uh, this. 
The color of stirred yogurt. Tan like me at the beach. Face like a face you know. I can see Ooh. in my mind. A sharp bird. Hair like uh, a waterfall on the cliffs of Santorini. Burning. Beach burning. Eyebrows. Has a beard like Apollo's chest hair. The storm! Wake up! I have to wake up! The storm! Wake up! I have to wake up! There! I see him clear as day. <clears throat> the lowest ranked among them. A shield bearer who dreamt of battle, but had seen nary a skirmish. A teller of tales, not a doer of deeds. Phoenix. What a name! Phoenix! Sounds like the sound a dumb bird makes when it lights itself on fire. Which would be ridiculous. Although... I should write that down. Washed up on an unknown shore, Phoenix awoke. Looks like the only way off this beach is up that cliff. Phoenix saw his captain and fellow soldiers in the distance. Through a trick of the light, he could almost see them waving and calling to him. Phoenix! Again! You may not be your brother Ligiron, but I will make something of you yet. Hold my shield. Try not to drop it this time. I didn't see you there. Don't let them get to you. They're just jealous. It's not often someone has a brother like yours. Lokogos! Lokogos, can you hear me? You've gone cold. What magic is this? Ligiron! Where are you, brother? Unarmed and lost, Phoenix was vulnerable. I have to be calm. I have to follow my training. My brother's sword! No! You've always been my hero, my North Star. I will bring you back, I swear it.
Phoenix had never been allowed to hold the Hallowed Sword. A gift from Achilles for bravery in battle. It balanced perfectly in his palm, as if forged for it. Achilles' sword? Huh? Brother must have been good in battle. Is something wrong with your voice? I never got a sword. Just saying. Phoenix looked up. He was not alone. By the gods! Stay back! He readied his sword for his first real fight. Phoenix felt his training come into focus. I should be able to survey the land from up there. This is the largest statue of Hermes I've ever seen. I wonder who built it. Besieged by challenge, totally alone, this young hero was determined to save his fellow soldiers and brother. Boring! Can we skip this part? No. This is important for the sense of atmosphere. Hermes, my old friend. It's an honor to finally meet you in person. Just don't tell anyone I'm speaking to you. I got in enough trouble for memorizing stories instead of tilling the soil back at home. And then the other soldiers? Well, they really don't appreciate a good story. Yeah. What is this? It smells like honey. And the first day of spring? And my first kiss, all rolled into one. Phoenix got into the Ambrosia too? Prometheus! You worried, Zeus, about losing this bet? Please, he can't use it anyway. Yet. <sighs> Phoenix's destiny was becoming clear. So far, all you have shown me is a mortal soldier who has fought one real battle, and Typhon grows stronger by the hour. Don't toy with me, Prometheus. I swear to you that soldier shall be our salvation. For if he fails and Typhon defeats us, Zeus, King of Gods, the world will fall to chaos. A temple of Apollo? If it has an oracle or a seer, they could help me undo this curse. A griffin? But they aren't real! Let me go! Help! Hey! I'll save you! I'm coming! I need to find a way to reach that rift. to get down. The pond! Phoenix felt Ligiron's blade with every step. Its weight a reminder of the heavy responsibility. You gave him your blade? Oh, Achilles. I, I meant to ask. Why exactly would you expect to receive a sword from Achilles? Oh, uh, as an offering. Just a routine offering from someone who gazed into your eyes and told you you were special. That's all. I left a rose on his breastplate. Got something in my eye. Keep going. Unlike the mortal flesh, which had been frozen into marble, the pomegranate sprung forth defiantly, bursting with life. A lot of poetry for something that just got a stick in their mouth. Who's done this to you? Prometheus, stop with the mortal pity party and get to the action part. Fine. Now that's more like it. Best 
poetry is about. The adamantine shed by Typhon's minions, metal of the gods, threw itself to Phoenix, as if wanting to be forged into something greater. Hello? Can you hear me in there? I'm coming! I found your axe! Phoenix approached the axe, feeling it call to him. Looks like the axe of Atalanta. It must be a copy. Although... But before Phoenix could claim it, the axe was pulled into the pit by a terrible force. Upon my door. No one. You think that old trick will work on me? Come into my parlor, said the Cyclops to the sailor. Well, that's the end of Phoenix. Perfectly passable storytelling. I won't lie, there were moments that dragged, but you really got me with that ending. Now, let's settle up. Time for you to help me against Typhon. It's not over yet. Not by a long shot. What was this strange place? It's Tartarus. Just exactly where had Phoenix landed? Tartarus! The nasty abyss where I imprisoned Typhon. He must have opened rifts into the vaults of the underworld when he escaped. You know it, I know it. Say it! Phoenix was in Tar... Sure. I hate you! But aren't you intrigued? No. Keep going. You are either brave, little one, or very foolish. Let's see if you can meet my challenge, or if you will fall like all the others. Who are you? Hello? this? Wings? 
Phoenix ran his hands over them, noticing that several pieces were missing, as if someone had ripped them apart. They seem to be man-made. I wonder how they work, if they even work. Actually work! Sort of. The axe! The axe of Atalanta. Deadliest of hunters. Swiftest of heroes. Fallen at the hands of Typhon. Didn't I change her into a lion? You turned a lot of people into a lot of things. I need to stop drinking. Lightning! Scattered, hidden by Typhon. It's over! Phoenix is Helios Ash! No one can handle those bolts but me! Oh, really? A replica of Zeus's lightning bolt? No way! Power surged to Phoenix. It was too much for him to bear. Uh, what? Happening to me. Bye bye, mortal. And then, just like that, it stopped. No! The wings grounded the lightning. They were designed to withstand storms. That shouldn't be possible. And yet, this is just the beginning. <clears throat> ah! Having plunged into the abyss of Tartarus, and living to tell the tale, Phoenix emerged victorious. For now? That stranger I was chasing, where did he go? With the wings, he would be able to flit across the ancient bridge and find out. I wouldn't just strap on discarded junk. Who knows where those have been? Many a night, Phoenix had told tales of a genius. An inventor named Daedalus, and his extraordinary wings. Perhaps someone copied their design, Phoenix mused. So junk. Ooh, maybe it's cursed. was here. He's the famous hero, not me. What am I going to do? Put the fiends of Tartaros to sleep with storytelling?
organ? A real. What's that glimmering? Maybe if I sneak up on it. These bracers, I've seen them in drawings. They can't be. Ah, but they were. Heracles, mightiest of mortals, slayer of beasts, defied Hera, and accomplished the impossible wearing those bracers. And now, they belong to Phoenix. Through dumb luck? Stop! Over here! Fight someone who's armed instead! So, Phoenix, after boldly besting the Gorgon that ambushed Heracles... What are you doing there? That... Thing with your voice. Heracles? Yeah, that. That is how it's supposed to be pronounced. Seems like a lot of work, but it's your funeral. Except I can't die. Don't remind me. By the gods! I feel like I could lift the mountain! Ah. Only those bracers for Hades alive! You two, get a room! <laughs> If he fell into that vault, I'll save you! I promise! So let me get this straight. Instead of heating up the Temple of Apollo to speak with the Oracle, Phoenix is hightailing it after this stranger? Phoenix, truly a good person, sought to help the mysterious stranger. But he never lost sight of the fact that he was getting ever closer to the Temple of Apollo and the solution to the terrible curse inflicted upon his brother and fellow soldiers. Oh yes, remind me to erase my own faults with narration. Zeus, truly a good person, murdered his first wife by getting her to turn into a fly and then ate her. Wait, that's what happened to Metis? I thought she was visiting her sister in Babylon. Oops.
this... seemed easy enough to hit, but the third would require the focus of a master archer. Forget it! Kids today play seashells and skip rocks, stare at the wall, you know, they're hyperactive. This from the god who thinks a weak constitutes a long-term relationship. <laughs> Keep that steady hand, little one, and you might just survive. Armed with the agility of Achilles, the speed of Atalanta, the wits of Odysseus, and the strength of Heracles, Phoenix was ready to face whatever the future had in store. That's it? That's all he has going for him? Fa! Good luck! I'm nearly at the Oracle. The desire to save his comrades and brother hardened Phoenix's resolve. Ah, too easy. There's something down there. <laughs> 